and welcome to my channel. Um, this is something I was waiting a little while for. I'm thinking it's this by the shipping code. This is one of the last items I've ordered off Ali before they closed for Chinese New Year and then everything shut down with Wuhan flu and everything else. Right, we have an empty envelope. We have a stray bead. That's going to be fun. Right, we have some stuffing. Oh, that's weird. Okay. We have a bundle of loose stuffing, whereas these come with stuffing. I actually have a massive bag of stuffing because I did a craft project with the kids and we made woolen and bunnies. So I have four beaded cross stitch kits. Now this one you will have seen. This one is the one that Rachel has done um, on her channel. And when I went some and did some browsing, I also found these, which are little unicorns. And these were very, very cute. These are the butterflies. It's a rose tree cross stitch um, from AliExpress. It's got AliExpress info all over here, email addresses and everything else. And these are just two of the different codes with the butterflies. And what's really cool about these is this is, oh, this is not what I thought. Right, this is a mix. These two are a mix of cross stitch, back stitch and beads. I'll open those in a second. These are 100% beads. These two. These are car ornament series. It says on the only English I can see on the shamrock. And that has no English whatsoever. All right, let's take a look. So this is a cross stitch and bead kit. I will only open the one and you'll get the idea for both. All right, so you've got this pretty brochure in glossy um, information. Okay, we have the key dangly bit or phone. Actually, it's more like a phone um, cable. You know, the ones that slip through. You've got a couple of needles with some massive eyes and we've got the bead um, embroidery thread, which is the clear fishing line kind of thread. Then you have the cross stitch paraphernalia with threads. These, this says rose tree um, cross stitch. I love cross stitch, little fabric, or sorry, floss sorter. In the colors, no DMC colors or anything like that, but you've got a black, you've got a kind of um, green, and then you've got into more of the jades, pale green, a darker jade, and then you've got that gold metallic. Okay, so they are all the different um, flosses that you can get. Then you have the beads. Oh, bag open. That would be where the beads came from. Hopefully I haven't lost too many. There doesn't look like there's an awful lot of beads required. So fingers crossed, they're all there. A little bit staticky, should be fine. So we've got blue and we've got amber and then we've got plastic Ada style um, cloth, plastic, anyway. So divide it in half and do your pattern on one side, do your pattern on the other side and cut and sew them out. Instructions are here though. You've got these, you've got the pattern. So it shows you how to put it on. Um, it says cutting line, do not stitch. So you're cutting one square around minimum to make sure that you don't lose your stitches. And look at that, you actually get DMC colors as well. So you've got DMC colors for each of these, for the metallics and everything. You've got the back stitches with the DMC and you've got the beads with their bead numbers as well. If there is genuine bead numbers on this, that pattern is quite easy to read. Um, that's a really nifty little project. Okay, and here's the how-to. So you've got your basics. So you prevent it from fraying by overcasting the edges. You actually don't need to with this kind of fabric, I don't think. 
find the center by making a fold marking it with a little loop stitch if you wanted to do that this is probably more general cross stitch instructions to be honest needles and thread shows how to pull out the single strand and then you double up for the tail and all of that kind of thing it actually suggests that i uh, know it's showing you how to start your thread and finish your thread finishing it says hand wash you don't want to hand wash this kind of thing the frame measure the design of the frame again not applicable for this diagram shows you how to do cross stitch so you've got the left to right diagonal then you've got the right to left up diagonal shows you how to do back stitch shows you how to do couching which is to thicken up your stitch also shows you how to do french knots if you saw a video that i did it was a um i think it was a whip and chat with my sassy craft along you saw me in that debacle of um, French knots I think I can master it kind of now and then you've got instructions here with um, Chinese and it's so fuzzy it's so small that I don't know if I'm even going to be able to translate these look like little photographs that they've done shows you how to stuff the items shows you how to put the keyring thing on and then you've got your little charm um, finished so that's kind of cool um i'm really really pleased with with the cross kind of pollination of crafts so you've got the cross stitch you've got the beading put everything back in there two needles inside the only thing you don't have in that package is the stuffing which they've put as a separate lot and there's so much stuffing there it's ridiculous that's definitely not going to go out of fashion in a hurry so there you go um with the cross stitch and bead kit and I'm trying not to get it stuck on. I'm really doing a bad job of this. So that's kind of cool. I actually went looking for Pokemon stuff for somebody else and I couldn't find any but I saw these and I was like oh yay they look so cool. All right this one is a full beaded cross stitch sorry a full beaded kit again you have fiber stuffing you've got this the bundle i have i think is a much finer softer thing than this all right so again chinese instructions one of these weird things why do you always get these weird things in these mails i think it's the static involved all right, so it's the same fabric. I'm looking for the sticky. There we go. This is actually printed on the canvas, this pattern. So you don't get a separate pattern. So this is, well, what is this? I think this is a mix. No, it's not a mix. It's all beads, but they give you fabric, sorry not fabric, floss for the colors. So in amongst all of these, we have clear fishing line. We have black, white, pink, yellow, and blue. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Black, white, pink, yellow, blue. So it's five colors, you can't get them mixed up and then you've got black white pink yellow and blue in the beads we have the keyring attachments the ring to get it all together and there are three three needles not huge heads um but you can get your hand now I think because it's got a number two here it's implying that you use two strands of each of these but I will get my Google Translate and I will translate it. It's also showing two strands here in the description um, and there is a QR code if it takes you to a website that might be able to translate so I will check that out as well. Um, but there you go it's a little unicorn it will end up stuffed into a slightly 3D keychain and you've got the color floss to go with the color beads um, on that. So yeah, again, nice little project. One of those crazy kind of 
purchases that you make when you browse looking for weird stuff on Ali. Um, not resealable bags, so you need to put them into a Ziploc bag so, or little... Um, you could put them into Harbour Freight. Now, how is that? These, oh, these were actually even neater. It's almost like a double protection. I kind of like that. So you don't lose those. You've got the floss and squish. And I won't open the shamrock if you're interested in looking at the shamrock. As I said, Rachel has done the shamrock in a couple of whipping chats now. And you can see how it's turned out in one of her most recent. Oh, I'm trying to tuck it in. All right, there we go. Tuck in that floss that's, or not the floss, the um, stuffing. And there you have nice little compact kits though. You could take these pretty much anywhere. And this is the exact same. So you've got your big loop on your keychain, you've got your keychain loop, um, and you have um, the um, stuffing and everything that you need in there as well. So there you go. Bit of a mix. I will put the links to these products in the description i'm really looking forward to something like this the beads do kind of scare me a little bit um having um so i might need to have tubs that sophie can't get into that's wishful thinking isn't it um it's two colors in each so i actually don't need a big container um to have it as a nearby thing but i might do those as a bit of a couch project with the cross stitch and um see where we go so it's an 18 count, so it's not too small on that one. I don't know if this is going to give a count for these. The grid did look similar um, to this. So yeah, maybe it's an 18 count rather than a 14. So it's, it's fine. Um, if you know anything about cross stitch, the bigger the numbers, the um, smaller the holes. So 14 per inch being quite large, um, which is good for us when we start getting blind. Um, this is going to have to go into a Ziploc bag to protect it, so I will do that in just a second. And, um, yeah, put them in a, an area where they can be mutually kept, so um, they will stay all together um, in one kind of crafty section. And my craft box is now getting bigger, so that will have to get upgraded. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different. Um... Ali is not back up and running yet. It's now early March um, between the Chinese New Year and the flu lockdowns and shipping lockdowns. Um, things are still a little bit slow. These products may not be in the diamond painting kind of regions, so you may get these a bit quicker. So if you are interested, you can certainly go and check them out. Look, you can put the order in and just expect to get it when you expect to get it. Um, but with everything slowing down and shipping slowing down, it could take a little bit longer, uh, like up to a month longer now, um, as the world gets used to um, bugs spreading and everything else, these lovely viruses. So yeah, um, be patient. If it is something that you're interested in, throw it into your cart and just wait. Uh, but yeah, these are something very different with the um, cross between the cross stitch and the beading so I haven't seen anyone actually show those before so um yeah I hope you enjoy them and I will consider doing some of it on video although it's it's cross stitch we'll see how we go um maybe do a floss tube of some kind of thing I don't know we'll see but there's some lovely metallic around the outside edge and then you've got the normal DMC in the middle with the beads as well so yeah um that would be really really cool um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please click um, like if you've enjoyed this video, click subscribe, drop me a comment um, if you have any questions. The, the beaded kits are a little bit new, I didn't want to try anything too big. I do have a bigger, bigger kit. I um, wanted to get the um, clover um, because, yeah, again, Irish. And um, yeah, just wanted to, uh, to try these. I saw them and they were pretty and um, wanted to give them a look-see. So yes. Thank you. And you might see more of that kind of thing on my channel in future. So um, please come and check it out. So I'll just say goodbye for now and I'll see you around on the tubes.